One of the most rewarding experiences you can have as a teacher is facilitating your students applying what they learn in the classroom to solving a problem in their community. This year, Nation Builders, the new school in Atlanta, Georgia, and Fairfield International Academy in Montego Bay, Jamaica, came together under One Love Learning Foundation and did just that. The two schools involved formed a sister school relationship. And this started with the idea of sustainable food systems in their own communities. Each school developed a school-based garden. And then they came together in Montego Bay, Jamaica for academic and cultural exchange. This was a great program and I was honored to be a part of it. But I would like you to meet some of the leaders who made this possible. This week was a strong affirmation for the ideas that we've been putting in place for a long time. We've spent a lot of time developing relationships between our students and other schools, whether they be international schools or domestic schools. The idea being that we want our children to be exposed to one another. We want them to learn firsthand what it's like to give. We had our children this week involved in community service. And sometimes, not just children, all people just need an outlet or a, a map of what they can do. But once you give them an opportunity or you show them a platform where they can give, it's something that stays with them forever. And I think that's probably one of the things I witnessed this week that was, again, an affirmation of our mission which is that our children have developed this relationship, all of them different. We had children from all economic backgrounds, we had children from race background, and they all came together, and they all celebrated together, and they all worked together. So I think this week was really an affirmation of all that we've been the new school to create a place for kids who wanted more out of high school, who were ready for their lives to start now. And what that means to us is getting kids working out in the community, with our community partners, with mentors, with professionals who want to share the work that they're doing with young people. We want to be an inspiration place, a place that kids graduate from with lots of ideas about where they want to go with their lives and a place where they've already started doing those things and in our first couple of years that's what we're most proud about at the new school that our students have launched themselves from our place to lots of other creative exciting and interesting places in the world Fairfield International Academy is to bring a global education to our students here in Jamaica. We're looking to motivate our students to see the connections outside of the classroom and how they can make an impact around the world. We're also looking at bringing in an entrepreneur a mindset to our students to where they can um, look at the job opportunities and what is available right here and how they can make an impact right here in Jamaica. This was definitely a journey for us. Um, I feel as if they have made lasting relationships. Um, you know, it was a lot of work to begin with, but you know, taking a step back and just watching them, um, and they really connected with each other and they could tell that um, they had a lot of things in common. So we're looking at um, very valuable uh, relationships in the future. And uh, these kids have done something so monumental and um, you know, the sky's the limit for them. This trip allowed me to really um, develop relationships. I think this is a, definitely a relationship building trip from just really connecting with, uh, with, with Tiffany, for instance, um, and really being able to talk about what that experience has been like with them um, being transplants from America, um, from the United States coming over, and, um, and how the learning, the learning has been different, the teaching has been different, um, and the education has been different. So um, we were just having a conversation about that, and for me as an educator, 
of and the type of education that I do in health and wellness, being able to see the world as a classroom has always been my aim as a teacher to be able to use, um, utilize my experiences traveling. So with me being able to connect directly with teachers that are doing that, um, that, that are not, some of them are not residents here, they are definitely expats from the United States and showing how they, you know, being able to talk about how they were, be, uh, they were able to transition from the United States to here um, in their thinking, even in the way that they teach, um, has been just, just awesome, being able to have those conversations and learning from that. CNS providing an opportunity for students to be able to leave the nest of Atlanta and uh, to travel overseas and have an experience where they're actually able to learn from other students has, is invaluable. As a teacher, me being able to come outside of that nest and, be, and being able to um, see my students, um, see our students, be able to have these interactions um, and learn from the students uh, overseas and um, learn just from the experience of being overseas um, is invaluable. And um, also definitely, as a teacher, it's gonna allow me to be able to insert some of the things I've learned into the curriculum when I go back. Um, to be able to um, use this experience to really shape how I look at education in general. I really enjoy uh, storytelling. We would call it documentary photography. And what I do here and at other places is social documentary. So I'm highlighting a, a social issue. Um, just as a, a piece of background, I'm a trained commercial photographer and I operated in that space for a while. but. I really always gravitated to this, um, and so I'm back where I want to be. I'm absolutely where I want to be. What is it like to tell the story? It just makes my heart sing. I'm doing what I want to do. Um, the purpose is to, beyond what makes me happy, and that's important, um, sharing what I think is important for others to see that they might not otherwise see, whether it's even the harshest of situations. Sometimes people don't leave their house and they don't know. So in a way I have a responsibility as a photographer to do that. But my favorite experience was at the um, Watford Hill Schools. Um, because there's a good deal of poverty and because it's unfiltered in a way, because it's reality, um, a harsh reality for many people, not just here, but all over the world. It's very, that's what I really care about in helping the people that are in the roughest of shapes. But the truth is I've always loved um, storytelling, whether it was a single image or something longer, multiple images. And in particular, what I like the most is when it intersects with culture just unfiltered, non-westernized, lovely people. I learned that I am a lot better at making connections with people than I thought. I was always kind of, always thought I was kind of awkward with people, but I was able to make connections with a lot of the people from Fairfield Academy. They were all really nice and fun to talk to. So it's cool that I can do that. I can kind of make a friend wherever I go. It was fun seeing all the kids so happy and excited about it, and they were really cute. They were really sweet kids, and I'm really glad to get to meet them and to be able to make even such a small little impact on their lives. The impressions that we have of the One Love Learning Foundation in these early days, I mean, we have only been open for seven months, is that global impact, that global feeling that we want to initiate in our students and have that become an intrinsic lifelong motivation. Uh, bringing in the students from Watford Hill, bringing in other students in those schools in the outlying areas. So One Love Learning Foundation, the organic garden, yes. The hydroponics, yes. But more importantly, it's the relationships, that global mindedness. The impact of FIA on the overall community of Jamaica is essentially important in that we are here not only to educate the children that come to us and pay tuition, but also the surrounding community.
communities and the schools, the local schools, the teachers of the local schools. So it has always been stated that we would be the best in the West, but that means that we are the best for our students, but also all the other students within this community on the West Coast. What drew me to education in general, I would have to say, and what has guided my career path always is that philosophy that if we educate children, the world's going to be a better place. This is my seventh country now living in Jamaica for six years. And if we can educate our children, we know the world will be a better place. But more importantly, watching them grow and develop into human beings and continue to be involved in education themselves is a passion that you want to instill. What's best for students? They take that and they go out and spread that same sort of developmental factor it means that our world will grow and change because of their breadth and depth of knowledge. I welcome many people to my home in Jamaica. It's a little piece of paradise surrounded by palm trees, coconut trees, banana trees, mango trees, aki trees, lots of bright sunlight, on a mountaintop overlooking the sea. And it's a beautiful place for serenity. This past week, we provided an opportunity for these young ones to give back. We merged with one another from all walks of life, provided them with paths to give back. And when your mind is joyful and compassionate, the world is too. When your mind is filled with negative thoughts, well, then the world appears negative. And seeing all of these young people discover and explore reminded me that seeing other people happy is a deep source of joy in my life.